Last time on The Lazy Geckos. So that was super easy. Where are you coming from? Where are you going? How long are you staying? You ready, Reese? Yeah, what am I going to do? We found it. Our sail got stuck up. I dropped the dinghy and I forgot to put the plug in so it like filled up with water. Oh my god. It's another level excited. <laughs> Megan's first provisioning trip. Don't forget about the laundry. What laundry? <laughs> Doing a little Turks and Caicos dive before we leave. Ready? what happened during our dive today? Yeah, everybody knows that happens. It's just us being stupid bringing our phones. Yeah, we were, uh, we were diving. It was a beautiful dive and we came out and found our window and our rental car smashed. Our one GoPro gone, two cell phones. So fortunately we had a spare cell phone on board that we were able to transfer my, my number to. Um, Really the only thing that's not replaceable is our dive logs that were gone, but they took our dive light set, which the, I had the lights, so really they just took the chargers and um, our O-ring kit. So I'll have to get some of that stuff out here, but whatever, stuff like that happens, I'm not going to dwell on it, you know. It is what it is. Megan was here to watch Reese. Yep. So we were able to rent a car and go diving. From now on, I'm sick of the diving off the boat only. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, I so don't. Stay with the boat, then we can see if a boat's approaching and all that kind of stuff, you know. Staying with it. All right, so this is the first time I've cleaned the hull uh, with scuba. Usually, I was just snorkeling, but it's kind of a pain because you're, you know, you can't really get deep. I'm not a great free diver, like trying to hold my breath. I usually go down and I start suffocating and then I panic to come back up and no thanks. <laughs> I'll just breathe under the water, you know? You gonna go, Meg? Probably help out. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Is there oil in the water though? Nah. It's fuel, not oil. Dad'll leave the easy stuff for you. You need to do the side. If you do go down Take this and just don't like scrub the paint away because you can scrub it away real quick. Just like seriously, like, and you'll see it. Just as soon as that grass is pretty much gone, doesn't have to be perfect. Right. Move on, you know. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it. You'll see what's happening. It'll be like father daughter bonding. Yeah, <laughs> nice little memory you guys have together. All right, mommy, you want to help me put this on? I do. Ready? It's actually the same tank. Is it? Yeah. What did you have, 15 PSI? I think I have like 1100. Oh, cool. Hopefully I won't use all that. It's funny, when we go diving, he uses, he always comes up with like 500 less PSI than I. He must breathe. I always focus on taking long, deep breaths. He <laughs> must breathe like, <sighs> in out, in out, in out. I'm trying to move a bigger body around too. <laughs> I have too much weight in. When I hit go down, I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> drop so right down. Yeah. You ready for me to check you? Yeah. So we do uh, Bruce Willis ruins all films. We start off with the BCD. Make sure my weight pockets are shut. You're good. Weight pockets are good. Weights are next. Bruce Willis. Weight pockets are good there. You're good here. Now releases. releases. One, two, three, four. Air. Are you in pre-dive or dive? I'm in pre-dive. You have 1100. Okay. Uh, final air, check. Final check. You're good. Air conditioners, short one, short two, and then go shut the power. Okay. So we're gonna shut down the power just to ensure that he doesn't get electrical shock. So I'm gonna turn off 
air conditioners, microwave. That one going on the bedrooms. Turn them off there. Ports, starboard, and then I'll shut down shore one, shore two, and then I will head out to the dock and kill this circuit breaker out there, and then that'll allow me to unplug from the main source of power to ensure he doesn't get electrical shock. dive class and we called him scuba steve and he looked like a scuba steve remember him no Brittany remembers everything dad's always like no i know what are you he talking know. about he knows i know that's why we don't ever remember our passwords because he makes them but he, he never remembers them <laughs> bye and he's gone there you go, clean in the bottom. Hi. <laughs> you look great. Do I look good? That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> I don't want it to be cold. That's the only thing I'm afraid of. It's not cold. I was in there today in a bikini. I was warm and I was deep. This is cool. Oh. Is it cold? A little. But I haven't been in the water all day. Oh, good lord. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Just following behind them? No, I'm going this way. Oh, this side isn't even bad. Oh, sorry. What? This side isn't nearly as bad as the other. Yeah. I don't even I don't even have to go down, honestly. I don't even really need the mask. Maybe a little bit. Might make it easier. Cool, I'm gonna find him. Nope. Oh, he's down there. He's over there. How oh, funny. All right. Yeah, pass that to me. All right, thank you. Got it? Yeah. You need a small or a big shackle? Small shackle. Okay. Getting held up in the Turks for weather gave us a great opportunity to get a few things done. One item was this shackle. Replacing it means we can use the screecher again, which is huge. And the pliers. Thank you. I'm going to rinse this real good. Okay, these pliers suck. Okay, the shackle broke when we were sailing with the screecher. Another so one down. Once again, I got to have fun wrestling the sail down in the wind. But basically, what happened was there's these little U bolts that hold it's kind of this thing kind of together. So it hooks up to the bow spirit. It goes down there, and then it kind of got shot up. And now I'm going. I'm replacing it with a stainless steel shackle. It just got old. Um, I need to replace the other side as well. But that's gonna be a major deal or door deal because it's completely corroded. So for right now, I'm gonna replace this one. And um, I'm just doing a little zip tie to help hold it, kind of like safety wire, until I decide to safety wire it. Uh, scissors. Ooh, uh. We're fixing the shackle that broke. And now it is fixed. We'll be able to put our screecher back up once the wind's kind of diminished a little bit. The other side doesn't look as bad, but for now I'm just gonna go check a few things out, including our wheel. Hi, Reese. I'm under you. Come here. 
I'm in the water. Hi, handsome. Look in the crack. Yeah, hey. Hi. You gonna count? Yeah. Say one, two, three. There goes Dad. Um, just don't get him. Don't get him in it. Like, stay back there. Or you can do it with the walk. Yeah. Because last time he wasn't too happy. Getting our guns back from the customs officer from the Turks and Caicos. We've been waiting all day for him so we can pull off the dock tomorrow. It's okay because it's windy, very windy. You know, some places they take your weapons, some, some places don't. Um, this place they do, they took them, recount your rounds, make sure that you have the right serial numbers, then put them back in the safe. Belle, I'm happy they didn't take you, honey. <laughs> I'm happy. So all the cruisers made this big ordeal, like um, dogs aren't allowed, and you have to do all these things, and you know, it is a big deal, but they didn't give me any problems. Yeah, they have a dog too. I don't think that they checked their dog in. I went over there and I said, what did you do? You know, and she's like, I don't know, I've been here a year. Like she didn't want to answer my question. <laughs> just left the Turks. It's about 8, uh, 25. We left around 7 this morning. Pulled off the dock. Winds are at like 10. We're motor sailing with our main up. It's right at 30 degrees, which is always at 30 degrees. We are two phones, one GoPro short, along with some other charging equipment, but it's all good. Can't complain. We are we're not really sure if we're going to go straight to Ben Dominican or if we're going to go ahead and go straight to Puerto Rico. So we'll see what the winds do. It's supposed to be very light, a lot of motoring, but um, hey, usually there's easterlies down here and that's nice that we're going to get away from them or at least get through them. So overall, it was a beautiful visit in the Turks. You know, you can't let a thief ruin your time. So it is what it is and we will... Uh, continue on to the Dominican and have a good time. Megan's on the bow. She's really been looking forward to this, so it's cool to see her up there. She's really enjoying it, it seems. She's been itching to leave the dock, and we were stuck on the dock for about a week after she got here, so first time out. It's looking good. Woke up this morning With the sunrise in my eyes We are leaving the Turks. About to go in international waters. We will be in no country once again. It's pretty calm right now. It's beautiful. And this is actually like we're coming into the cut. So I think the sea is going to be pretty calm today. 26 feet here. It's going to drop to 6,000 feet. I don't think we'll see the bottom. No. Hopefully but we see some whale. They say it's like breeding season or whatever. They come here. So this is actually called Whale Channel. But um, the next islands we come to they say um, there's a lot of whale activity there so we're hoping to see some whales out here tonight that'd be sweet that'd be awesome megan's gonna do her first ocean passage and it happens to be a two-nighter two, yeah two night two, two and a half day champ just we don't have any winds now uh but they should they're, they're saying on our latest downloads on predict wind that the winds will be shifting around and go like 10 to 15 and they'll be following all night long. That would be awesome. We shut the engines down and we get to sail all night long and it'd be amazing. We'll see. And then we have the Dominican as our bailout. In case we need to for any reason, we will just set a course south or depending on how far we get, probably it's just south and uh, go to Dominican. My boots and briefcase are waiting at the door.
coming up on the Lacey Geckos. Yeah, I've never seen a flying fish. We are riding the coast of the Dominican. So if we can track the storm, then right now the storm is heading that way. Megan, I summon you to do the honors. We get to raise a flag. Yay. It doesn't help that Bella's paperwork was in the car when I got from the you. It's leaking. What? My workout buddy. It hasn't been working good at all. I've noticed like every time I've gone up there, it's like, hey, they're at lunch. Yay, they're yeah. at lunch. Meg just got popped on the butt. They like hit you like here. She was not letting go of the railing. Thank you for being there for me. You cut through a stream since dad's doing a ton of maintenance. The time has come. I was gonna go kiss all over her like I do Reese. Episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Wanna get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, it's naked. Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazygeckos.